experiment to determine the heat of reaction. Objective to determine the heat capacity of calorimeter and to determine the heat of neutralization of hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide. Introduction. In introduction, we are going to write the theory or the basic definition. Calorimeter is a container because that is I that is thermally isolated. Isolated ni bermaksud dia terasing and it is isolated from the environment. For example, if we have a container, uh, the heat cannot go inside the container and the heat inside the container cannot go outside the container. So what is in the container stay in the container and what is outside the container cannot go to the container. Heat capacity of a calorimeter Capacity adalah muatan So, berapa banyak haba yang muat Untuk calorimeter serap For the temperature Increase by 1 degree Celsius So, the definition is Heat capacity is the amount of heat Required to increase The temperature By 1 degree Celsius And the last theory that you need to understand in this experiment is definition of heat neutralization. So the heat of neutralization is defined as the heat release when one mole of water is formed when an acid react with a base or alkaline under the stated condition. Remember heat of neutralization is heat release so the value will be negative. Results A. Determination of heat capacity of calorie meter Heat capacity symbol is capital K C and calorie meter So, you akan letak C besar and C kecil Okay, like that In this experiment, we are using polystyrene cup as a calorie meter And when we measure the temperature of empty calorie meter it is 30 degree Celsius. So we know it as initial temperature and then we pour hot water into the calorie meter. But before that, we must measure the initial temperature of hot water before pour in the calorie meter and then the temperature of water after pour in the calorie meter so actually there adalah the final temperature and as you remember the mass of water that we use is 50 gram because we are using 50 ml of water as you know heat transfer from hot to cool space so, when you transfer hot water to the empty calorie meter, heat released by hot water will absorb by the calorie meter. Therefore, to calculate the heat capacity, what you need to do is just substitute the formula of heat. Water will be mc delta t, where c is specific heat capacity, and for heat absorbed by calorie meter will be c delta t. The value for specific heat capacity of water 4.18 is a constant.
So now you get head capacity of calorie meter and first objective determine the head capacity achieved. Part B determine the head of neutralization. First of all, you need to write the balance equation because why? Because we need to have one mole of water based on the definition of neutralization which is acid release when one mole of water is formed okay so you punya equation mesti uh, number of mole for water will be one mole okay and then uh, as you can see here uh, i just write down the molarity and volume used in the experiment and 25 ml of hydrochloric acid means that it is 25 gram because the density we assume 1 gram per cube okay therefore you will get your punya mass of water will be the sum of mass of hcl and mass of na oh okay because what because uh, hcl and sodium hydroxide uh, is mixed in a calorie meter and before that the equation actually is is hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide so saya ada tulis salah sikit dekat equation tersebut so please check ya Next, after you calculate mass of water, you need to calculate ma uh, number of mole for water. Okay, so to calculate number of mole, you uh, you uh, need to do the stoichiometry. So from your equation, one mole of hydrochloric acid we add with one mole of sodium hydroxide. So number of mole for hydrochloric acid that you use is. 20 mz per 1000 so it will be 25 times 1 over 1000 so you will get 0 0.025 mole okay so if you compare stoichiometry with h2o also one mole of what hydrochloric acid produce one mole of water okay so you will get the number of mole for water is 0 0.025 mole of water okay so now to determine heat of neutralization you must know that heat of neutral neutralization is the sum of heat released by water and heat absorbed by calorie meter so again heat released by water mc delta t and heat absorbed by water by calorie meter is c delta t so this is specific heat capacity of water 4.18 and this one will be the heat capacity for the calorie meter that you calculate just now 41.8 okay so for the final answer you will get negative 1375.4 so where do you get the negative sign okay actually because heat of neutralization based on the definition heat of neutralization adalah heat release okay so with the heat release you will get the negative sign okay so, uh, your answer in Joule because you punya C is in Joule. Okay. So, next, um, what you calculate just now is just heat neutralization. But, normally, our, we are going to give answer in 1 mole delta H. Okay. So, you need to convert from uh, 0 0.025 mole of water. You release 1,300 and 79.4 joule so for one more you will get 55,000 and then um, you need this in mesti per mole because at here is one mole and later you will get lah heat enthalpy of neutralization is 
55.176 kJ per mole again uh, normally we akan bagi unit dalam kJ per mole okay settle for the calculation part and result and yes again um for the example that i'm using here uh, this 5.5 5.5 is come from this table of data okay uh, discussion discussion biasalah kita akan ada tiga part compare with the theory precaution and answer the question but you lucky for the experiment two there are no question so you just to need to do compare with the theory and precaution so for compare with the theory okay you have two point here first point and second point the first point the theoretical value of heat of neutralization theoretical ni maksudnya yang dikaji lah kan yang dah confirm dari theory is negative 7 uh, 57.3 kJ per mole while from the experiment you dapat m tapi neutralization is uh, 55.176 kJ per mole Remember to write the negative because this is a heat release and this value is smaller compared to the theory. Okay, so next, uh, the value of heat of neutralization from the experiment has smaller magnitude, right? 55 and 57. So, kenapa it has smaller value because heat lost uh, to the surrounding during the experiment so why heat loss to the surrounding there are many reasons first uh, is splash during the transfer of water acid and base maksudnya bila you transfer uh, you punya this ni you ada hot water pergi kepada dalam calorie meter mungkin dia ada mercik ke luar so bila water mercik ke luar from the calorie meter means that he also uh, lost to the surrounding and then the solution or heat does not even because you do not stir using a good stirrer or maybe you are not stir continuously and then the last one is because the a hole at the calorie meter because um, for example this is your calorie meter so you can tutup calorie meter and then you can buat lubang actually untuk nak letak thermometer so suddenly apa yang berlaku adalah this hole is too big so bila too big uh, you punya heat boleh keluar ok so there are escape hole uh, at your calorie meter that cause the heat loss ok so there are three reason um, next for the precaution the second part of this question ok based on uh, you punya precaution to avoid the heat loss right so the first one is uh, you should pour the acid solution into the alkaline solution promptly and carefully supaya dia tak splash outside the calorie meter and then mix the solution the mix solution means that the solution dalam calorie meter should be stir continuously so can you tell me how to make sure that you stir continuously maybe you ada alat yang boleh stir tell me and then uh, the third precaution is uh, the calorie meter must be closed tightly to reduce the heat loss to the surrounding or atmosphere so uh, lubang tempat yang kamu letak you punya thermometer ni maybe you can close with the plaster scene okay so, you letak plaster scene supaya no heat loss to the surrounding. Okay. And for conclusion, must be two because you have two objectives and I think you can write it by yourself. Okay, so that's all. Thank you very much. If you think this video is useful, please like, 
and share with your friend. Don't forget to subscribe.